Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to another video today. I thought I'd actually talk about uh, the new Elder Scrolls Online beta footage which has been uh, leaked. And right now, I don't know if you'll actually be able to find it. I'm not going to put it in the description or anything because uh, I'll get my channel striked if I um, give you guys any indication to where it is. Um, nonetheless, what I want to today talk about is pretty much what I saw in it, uh, what my thoughts are so far of the game. Um, obviously, there's a lot of things about this video, and there's been a previous video a few months ago that was about 20 minutes long, um, that aren't really true signs of what the game looks like. So if you saw this gameplay and you thought, well, this looks like crap, I'm not getting it, then, you know, think again, because there are a few things that this video did really poorly, um, but once again, it did just give us a good indication to sort of what to expect from this game. Now, this guy's a bit of an idiot, and he uh, made a video about a 10-minute video over it. Uh, good on him, to be honest. I'm sure a lot of people liked that, but um, obviously, I'm assuming he either took it down or his channel got striked, but I doubt he's going to be in the beta anymore because there was a strict NDA on it. But uh, obviously, if you don't want to see it, then don't watch it and uh, don't look for it because uh, if you don't want spoils and, you know, if you want to wait until the release to actually play the game, then obviously, uh, don't watch the gameplay. Um... Pretty much, this was posted on Reddit after it had been quickly revealed on YouTube for a bit. Um, and there's been a lot of debating about the game, uh, mainly negative to be honest. There's been a lot of negative fans, both, uh, you know, Elder Scrolls fans and also fans just from different games and different MMO fans. Um, one person to quote, he said, From this video, it seemed like the usual MMO fair. Fifteen people standing in a semicircle around the same quest giver. At least one person perched atop furniture. Mobs that take 30... 30 hits to kill, 3 people charging at the same enemy, and he said, are all these things atypical from the usual experience? Obviously this guy wasn't too keen on the gameplay clearly, but I thought I'd just talk about what a lot of these people are sort of, you know, saying, and what I think about the gameplay so far. Um, firstly, I'd like to get out of the way that in both cases, both the gameplays we've seen so far, the players have sucked, you know, they haven't known what they're, you know, they don't know what they're doing, which is normal, I'm not saying that they're bad gamers. Obviously, they don't know what they're doing because it's a new game. So, you know, watching them play doesn't really give us an idea of what the game will really be like when we get our hands on it. Um, and also, this guy, really, he just skipped through everything. He skipped all the quest dialogue. Um, he skipped everything, and he didn't know how to play. He made the game look pretty bad. Um, he, squ he skipped... Um, you know, he didn't show us first person. He didn't really read any of the notes that quest givers were saying, or he didn't read any books doesn't actually go through the interface. It wasn't a good demonstration of what the game looks like. However, I was a little bit disappointed. I'm not going to lie. I've been so excited for this game. And so far, um, obviously things might change. I'm not saying this is exactly how I'm going to feel like for the rest of the year until this game is released. But at the moment, I'm not all that keen on it. I have lost a bit of um, excitement for it. Obviously, it is still early days. But, you know, my, this is just sort of my thoughts on the way the game is shaping. So, Obviously, as we saw from the start of the video, if you guys did see it, character customization, it looks pretty good. That's always a good thing to see, uh, you know, lots of depth in terms of character customization. Character models, they don't look amazing, but they look alright. Um, most of the races look really cool. There are nine races. Uh, each of them do look very different from each other, and all of them have this uh, unique look, and they all have a cool sort of backstory, which is great. Um, obviously three factions, four classes as well, which I like. There's not too many, and there's a lot of sort of depth in the way you can customize those classes. But going into the actual gameplay that we saw, um, the heads-up display, a lot of people don't like this. Personally, I do like this. A pretty small, inconspicuous heads-up display. You can't really notice it until you... Like, you don't... It doesn't... It's not up in your face on, like, a lot of uh, modern-day MMOs, and in particular, WoW was like this. Rift is kind of like this as well where there's so much going on in the screen that it's a little bit sort of, you know, a bit of a clusterfuck. However, um, in The Old Scrolls Online, it seems very sort of minimalistic. Really feels a bit like an RPG just sort of turns into an MMO, which I like to see. Animations, for the most part, they weren't amazing. Nothing that was revolutionary. Uh, the way that this guy was playing was very... He was pathetic at the game, really. He wasn't really um, good at showing off, you know, the animations and stuff like that. He was sort of just hitting there, attacking this one enemy very statically. Um, however, it didn't look anything amazing. Obviously, the quality of the video was very low, so we couldn't really get the best idea. Uh, however, you know, the graphics didn't look insane, which, you know, I don't really care personally, but a lot of people do love to see those amazing uh, physics and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, animations weren't amazing, but... Once again, uh, a lot of people are more here for, like, you know, the, the gameplay itself and the way that sort of game plays out, the way you level up and all that sort of stuff. Uh, voice acting, 
for the most part, it didn't look amazing, but I am happy that there is a lot of voice acting. There's no sort of just, you don't just talk to a guy and it's just a big wall of text. Instead, you actually have a conversation with the quest giver, which is always good. As, he, as I said before, gameplay did look a bit static. Obviously, this is early days. I don't think the guy had any idea what he was doing, and uh, he was a very early level as well. I think it was like level one or something, just started the game, and uh, obviously barely had any moves or abilities and stuff like that. Once again, it didn't look easy from the first video we saw a few months ago. It does look like it's been made a little bit easier in the way that uh, you don't die so quickly. I remember the first video that was released, the guy died instantly, which was just crazy. It looks really hard. Nonetheless, it still looks like a pretty hard game. Uh, very minimal loading screens, which is great. A lot of MMOs suffer from really long, tedious loading screens, uh, which is good to see out of the game. It looks like you just open a door, uh, which are very loud, by the way. When you open the door, it makes this big, loud noise. But you open the door, and then straight away, about two seconds later, you're in the room, which is great. Uh, it does look very Elder Scrolls-y. For me, this is one of the biggest parts about the game, which I like. Um, for those Skyrim fans, it does look very Elder scrolls -y. Everything about it, you know, even like the uh, compass looks very Elder scrolls -y. Um, graphics, as I said, aren't amazing, but once again, it really depends on what kind of game you are. This game doesn't look like your average MMO, doesn't look revolutionary in any way, uh, but I'm sure it's going to be a great game. You know, there's so much awesome things in it to be a great game. Um, I think people should stop judging it by what it looks like. I know there's a lot of things about this game that don't look all that great, and I do have a lot of criticisms, personally. I am a little bit disappointed in a lot of the things about it. However, um, even though it's not the most stunning display yet, I, and like, although I'm not fully convinced just yet, I still do think this game is going to be a great game when it is released, and the fact that it's coming to consoles as well, I think that's going to draw a lot of, um, gamers who aren't MMO fans into this game, so, let me know what you guys thought about the, uh, gameplay that was leaked, a lot of people, as I said, were very disappointed about it, and, and just were absolutely disgusted, in fact, by what they saw, but, Honestly, I think people should um, wait until they get, actually get their hands on it and wait till you sort of see higher level gameplay because this guy in this video really didn't know what he was doing. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.